Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Frederick de Grey. How are you today? I'm excellent. Yourself, Tracy? I'm so delighted to speak to you because you have, of course, one of the most innovative companies on the entire stock market, and we're looking to for forward to seeing what you do next. So tell my audience, tell Investor Intel what H2O Innovation is. Well, we are a system, uh, water treatment system designer. Uh, we uh, design, manufacture, and deliver water treatment systems for drinking water, wastewater solution, and water reuse application. And we do it mostly in North America, USA, and Canada. And obviously, now we're seeing significant shift in, in the market. Okay, and for our audience, not only do you have a really cool technology and one of the most intriguing sectors in the entire world, you actually have revenue. And you just put out your third quarter announcement. Can you talk to us about that? Absolutely. It was uh, among our greatest quarter. We just announced after nine months, so third quarter in a row, uh, $37 million of revenues and, and prof profitable as well with positive EBITDA. So only uh, in nine months, we did more than what we did last year over 12 months. All right. So if I heard you properly, we've got revenue, we have a profit, we have record earnings, and your distribution is quite substantial. It's my understanding you're in 40 countries worldwide. Correct. We distribute uh, our specialty products. Uh, around 40 countries through a network of approximately 80 distributors and agents. And in addition to that, you know, unfortunately, the very negative headlining news about the California drought, you're in California in, I think it's the fourth largest water treatment plant in the world. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, currently in California, it's a, it's a whole game currently changing. Uh, not only people are facing drought, but, um, you know, they're coming up with sustained investment. Uh, to support new desalination and new water reuse plants. Well, my assistant editor-in-chief talks my head off about you, and he wants me to, to find out from you specifically, and forgive all the other investor intel audience that may not find this as interesting as he does, but I need to find out more about what's happening in California and the project that you're working on there. Can you give us an update? Well, in California currently, obviously, they're facing severe drought. Um, and, and currently we're seeing the water tables uh, depleting too fast. So currently the governments and the different, the, the, all the different stakeholders in, in the state of California are looking for solutions to replenish uh, these water tables and find ways to provide drinking water. So lately um, the government in California started to implement the first water reuse plant in California was installed back in 2006, 2007. And it was Orange County. And that was among the first water reuse projects we did. So essentially what, what's happening over there is that we're treating sewage water, so water coming from uh, sanitary wastewater, that we're being treated through membrane filtration, recycled into drinking filtration, and then re-injected in the ground. And we call this process water reuse IPR, indirect potable reuse. And this has become the new trend or the new way to address uh, water shortage in California. And the other way to address it is through the, the building of new desalination plant, which wasn't a case a few years ago. I mean, California was not building water desalination plant. And we're among the first company to install the first small desalination plant in San City. Uh, the second one that was built was with um, uh, Carlsbad desalination plant, where we have been involved as well. And now we're, th we're building a third one with the uh, city of Monterey, just uh, south of San Francisco. So to me, where you are is right on, you know, one of the most topical uh, issues on the planet. So for your shareholders right now, what kind of market do you have that you can expand into presently, Frederick? Well, it's, it's a huge market. I mean, we'll, you know, just between uh, today and what the market is and what we're expecting the market to grow in the next, uh, I would say, three years, we're expecting the market to reach $44 billion overall in the, in the global business. So uh, it's, a, it's a growth that is pretty amazing in the next three years only. Now, our current market, which is more in the U.S. and more in Canada, uh, you see just the government in, Albert, in uh, California is looking for fast-track $1.6 billion of projects will be fast-tracked in the next three or four years. Uh, so that's the market we're currently going after. And similarly, the market in Texas and all the southern states are also suffering from, from uh, water shortage. 
And that's a market that we're going after as well. So the market is there for us, obviously. And, and we have great belief that, you know, we're also addressing the right market within this global industry. Well, I have to agree with you. I believe you're addressing the right market as well. And numbers like 44 billion are certainly going to stick in my head and many of our audience members. So what is H2O Innovation going to do next, say in the next quarter? Well, continue to focus on, on the market that will deliver best, uh, the small mid-sized market, which is the fastest growing market. Uh, still continue to add innovative technology, uh, continue to expand our sales force. You know, we're still a small player within this global industry. And by adding more feet in the ground, more feet in the ground, more salesmen, more, rep more reps, uh, I think we can expand uh, nicely ourselves. Well, it is such a pleasure to speak with you because we know how busy you are. Thank you, Frederick. Thank you very much, Tracy. It was a pleasure.